Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to do cutaways in Final Cut Pro. Now, by cutaways, I mean kind of the same effect as the cutaway effect in iMovie. Having two streams of video and being able to cut between each one of them while keeping the audio constant. So let's create a simple project by simply dragging a clip in here and let's expand the timeline a bit so we have something to work with. Now say I want to cut away to a second video. I'll add that here to right above it and you can see it appears as an attached timeline and it cuts from one to the other and then back again. So that's pretty simple but say I want to actually have it cut back and forth several times. So I want to take a chunk out of here basically and have it go back to the main video and then return to this video here. So let's change the tool we're using and go to a range selection tool. Now I'm going to select a range in here and I want to cut it out so it actually goes back to this main video. If I hit the delete key I get a nice gap there and I can see now if I skim over the video I go from the main timeline to the secondary one back to the main back to the secondary one, back to the main. Now if I go back to the select tool I can select both of these and then drag them together keeping the space in between them perfect. Another thing I can do is I can control click on them and select create storyline and this locks them together in kind of the secondary storyline that can then be moved about. Let's go back to this and say that I want to actually have a transition between these. That's one of the problems here. Going to this is it's a hard transition into it. Now I can go in to the animation here and then scroll down a bit and see that one of the bits of animation that I can add is the opacity of the clip. So I can make it fade in and out. and You can see it doing that. So That's kind of handy. But if I want to add a regular transition like what I'm showing here on the right then I can't really do that. So let me close the animation here and show you another way. Uh, one of the things I can do is I can take these and move these on to the main timeline. So when I'm sure this is exactly how I want the clips to be I can control and then overwrite to primary storyline and see how it drops those in there. So the video is now identical to what I had before but it's really implanted there in the main timeline and I can now drop transitions in between. I still can adjust where there's a transition or even where there isn't a transition. I can go into the precision editor double clicking there on the gap and I can still work with exactly where one clip ends and the other clip begins while holding both in perfect time. And I can do that here with the transition as well, dragging the point of the transition. So there's a lot that you can do once you have uh, these put together. Now it's important before I do this overwrite transition, let me undo all the way back to it, that I were would detach the audio here. So there's no audio track for this particular example, but if I would detach the audio, it would create a separate audio track. So as these are then brought in overwriting the primary storyline I still end up with a coherent audio track that is locked to the entire thing. I could remove the audio track from this one here from these two uh, if I didn't want those to be heard at all. Now I'll go back to having just a single extra track up here. Suppose I actually wanted to do something a little different and use the video animation here and we were looking at controlling the opacity of this. So here's a blend in and a blend out. So you can see it blending in and out. Well I can add keyframes to this. So I've got the this one keyframe here, this keyframe here. I can use option K. It's under the modify menu here but it's much easier to use the keyboard command. And I can add four keyframes here. So I'm going to do option K, option K, option K, and option K. And then I'm going to drag these two points here down, leave this one up. So now what happens is it fades in, fades out, 
and you see the primary storyline show through and then fades in again. So you can actually use the animation with uh, the opacity of the uh, secondary clip here to do cutaways just as well. So there are several different methods for doing cutaways, multiple cutaways, using different tracks in Final Cut Pro. The key is understanding how the audio is working. So detaching the audio from the main clip and then silencing the audio from the other ones either by detaching and deleting it or lowering the volume all the way. Um, and if you're doing an overwrite you can actually have the sound overlapping as well. So you can kind of play with that and get the exact effect that you want. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.